Welcome to another episode of Fun with Drilling Engineering. When drilling, all sorts of things can go wrong. In the worst case, it can happen that the drill string gets stuck in the borehole. And no matter how much you try, you just cannot free it again. When that happens, it is most likely that this stock pipe event was caused by an effect called differential sticking. In this episode, we want to briefly explain this. The effect of differential sticking is caused by the differential pressure between the drilling mud in the borehole and the formation fluid pressure in the pore of the rock. It can be best explained with a suction cup. If I take such a suction cup and press it against a smooth wall, then the air under the cup is compressed and a part of it will escape through the edge of the cup. When I let go of the cup, the cup will spring back up, but due to the tight sealing between the smooth wall and the cup, no air can flow out, and this results in a vacuum under the suction cup. In other words, the air pressure on the outside of the cup is greater than the air pressure on the inside of the cup. As a result, the suction cup is pressed against the wall, it firmly sticks on it, and is not easily removed. So now you may wonder, what has this got to do with our drill string in the borehole? Well, here we have a sketch of such a deep borehole. Deep boreholes are always filled with a special fluid called the drilling mod. This drilling mod is still made for this specific application, and its density is adjusted in such a way that the pressure in the borehole is always slightly greater than the pressure in the formation of fluid. This is important to prevent any oil and gas from entering into our borehole during drilling operation. This is good, but due to the overpressure in the borehole, we will now suffer some mud losses into the formation. But don't worry, the solids in the drilling mud will ensure a tight filter cake quickly builds up, which seals the borehole so that the loss of mud in the formation stops. Now in our borehole, we have a drill string. As long as it remains in the center, everything is okay and nothing will go wrong. But as no borehole is truly vertical, the drill string will sooner or later move sideways and lean against the borehole wall. After some time, it is quite possible that the drill string sinks deeper into the soft filter cake and this can become a problem. This is what we see here in this picture. On one side is high mud pressure acting on the drill string, on the other side smaller formation pressure acting on the drill string, and between the two pressure levels is a filter cake which acts as a seal. This is just like the suction cup scenario, with high pressure on one side and the vacuum on the other side. So this situation is similar to a suction cup. Our borehole our drill string is pressed against the borehole wall so that it cannot be moved and it is stuck. This is a mess. So the question is how can we avoid such differential sticking in our borehole? We all know that the suction cup only sticks to smooth surfaces. When I press the suction cup against the rough outer surface of this bowl, like this, it will not stick at all. This is because there is no effective sealing and air can flow behind the suction cup. There is no stable vacuum under the cup, and due to the lack of missing differential pressure, the cup will not stay in place. It will fall off, like this. We do the same in our deep borehole. Either the borehole wall or the drill string surface needs to be rough. We do not have access to the borehole wall. Therefore, we can modify the surface of the drill string. In fact, typical drill collars are manufactured in such a way that there are spirals on the outer surface, as you can see in this picture. And these spirals make sure that some of the drilling mud can always flow through the backside of the drill string, even when it is leaning against the borehole wall. Therefore, the pressure pressure cannot build up, and the drill string cannot easily get stuck, similar to the suction cup, which will not stick to a rough surface, just like that. So now. Let's go back to our first slide. From what we have learned today, we can easily see that this picture must be a fake. First of all, I am not strong enough to pull a drill pipe with my limited muscle power. Secondly, the fracture sticking would not have happened on this well here. As you can see on the right side of the picture, we have spiral drill collars which were used in the drill string. Therefore, the fracture sticking should not have been an issue, all other things being equal. This and many other things we'll learn here in our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering here in Freiburg. We will be happy to see you here. Look off.